everyone, welcome back at the Chicago Northwestern Marsh Line here. This is layout update number two. And today we're going to be talking about um, our progress on the layout. We're going to take a break from painting the ceiling rafters um, because it's a pain in the you-know-what. And we're actually going to get some model railroading done here. So we got a couple of modules set up here. This is Marsh Line, milepost point seven. And that's what we're going to talk about today. So here we are, we're actually uh, working on the marsh line. This is the first part of the layout here. We got um, pretty much all the track laid out how we want it and a couple of buildings in there just to kind of give me an idea as to where things are going to kind of shake out. Um, but we're going to kind of build this in a domino fashion. So I have two of my old Fremo modules here set up. And we'll just... Uh, try and recreate the marsh line on these two um, modules and then that'll give me the ability to still get my layout started while I'm still finishing the room so things don't get too drippy. This is in the old train room. So we got our fast tracks, sweep sticks in there, um, giving us a really good idea on how the track's going to lay out. Um, and then this is this is it. This is the marsh line. This is milepost point seven. I'll flash the uh, track plan up on the screen here. And then let's take a look at um, the prototype here. So this is it. We're on our way. All right, so you can see here the uh, far track or the track furthest away from us near the houses there is where the Sioux line main line is. Um, and we're looking kind of southwest here. And as you can see here, there's the interchange down at the far end there with the Chicago Northwestern. And then, of course, the crossing where the Chicago Northwestern crosses the Sioux line main and the switch for the marsh line. So can kind of get a feel as to what the track setup is going to look like here. On that interchange you can probably spot about, I don't know, four or five uh, 50 foot box cars or 50 foot cars. And as you can see there's, looks like plenty of, just in this little space here, plenty of uh, ability for operations. So it's going to kind of be a cool little scene on our layout. As you can see there, the house is in the background. That's kind of where they were oriented towards the tracks, so they they were at an angle, and they were pretty much right butt up against the tracks. So it'll be a it'll be a cool little uh, kind of rural city scene. So looking forward to continuing on with our progress here. One thing you'll probably note is the uh, foam setup here. So I had my modules originally had foam on them as you can see there, but we're going to be getting rid of that and replacing it with three quarter inch plywood. Um, as you can see here, there's some kind of damage to the foam. I don't want it to be off gassing and this is going to be a permanent thing. So I just want to go ahead and get a good base underneath it. So. We'll keep some of the foam here for scenicing and putting in the uh, terrain and stuff like that. But basically, uh, this swath here is all going to be removed, and we'll be putting in um, three-quarter inch birch plywood for that. That'll be our sub roadbed for the whole layout. Should give us a nice sturdy uh, base to build our model railroad off of. Okay, one last thing I just wanted to share with you guys is kind of the operational theory behind uh, the marsh line interchange. Um, as you can see here on the far right hand side of your screen we have a SD7 there set up. Um, that's going to kind of be our um, test locomotive as we run through the gauntlet here to see how, how the operation of marsh line is actually going to work. So to the right is shop's yard. Um, <clears throat> that will be our feeder section for pretty much the whole railroad. 
Um, as you can see here, there's a second track. That's basically uh, the, the start of the yard lead, and then we have the main lines um, on the inner. So what's going to happen is, is that a train is going to back out of shop's yard, and we'll just kind of simulate what's going to happen here. The train is going to actually back out of shop's yard, clear the marsh line switch. Oh boy. Clear that marsh line switch, and then we'll get clearance from the dispatcher uh, to make sure that there's no trains coming on the Sioux here, right? Because they'll take priority. We will come up to the crossing gate. There will be a gate here that will swing open. So we'll have something that little uh, little guy here that goes whoop, and swings open, and then our train will enter the marsh line like so and go to the rest of the layout. So the first stop after the marsh line switch will be El Dorado, Wisconsin. So that's pretty much how things are going to operate in this area. We do also have a um, sweet little interchange here with the Sioux line so we can have some operations where the Sioux and the Chicago Northwestern can exchange freight cars on this track and it can also kind of serve as a runaround I guess if we needed to ever for whatever reason have Sioux power enter the marsh line probably never though so um, yeah no Sioux power on the marsh line <laughs> anyways um, that's pretty much what we got going on here for the operations piece of this uh, setup so I'd actually love to hear your thoughts on this um, I'm trying to stick to the prototype as much as much as possible um, if you guys have any little quirky operational pieces in your layouts or in your layout plans I'd love to hear them uh, feel free to share them in the comments below